Hello and welcome along to the channel and this time we are working on a laptop it's the Acer Aspire V Nitro and what we're going to do is we're going to do replacement battery we're also going to replace the stock uh, which is an SSD and traditional hard drive we're going to be swapping it for a 240 gig solid state drive to speed things up a little bit so the first thing is taking it apart now this one doesn't have the typical removable keyboard that you have on most laptops you can see it's actually molded in and you can see what we actually need to do is remove the full top to get it apart so what we do is we need to go underneath now remember this laptop here doesn't have any removable components there's no battery removal point there's no drive removal point anything like this so it's the only way of repairing these laptops which is taking them apart so let's take this one apart Now this is open, you can see we've got a few connectors we need to undo. The first one is our touchpad. I'm just going to use the plastic clip tool just to lift. And that removes the friction on that one. Similar to that connector. And then finally we've got the keyboard connector as well. Uh, that one is slightly different. So the other ones you lifted, this one, you push the little tabs at either side. And that removes it. There should be no friction when you take the connectors out. And then we can remove them. Now I'm not sure if you saw those. Let me just show you three connectors, main keyboard, uh, I'm not sure what that is, maybe sound, and then the touchpad, and that's removed, just put that to one side. Just to show you those connectors, you can see here what happens. is that one just lifts up that one also just lifts up and then this one this tab slides in and out 
and that lets you remove them. And we can now see the hard drive down here that we're going to be replacing and the battery down here that we're going to be replacing. At the same time, we also might as well clean the fan out whilst we're there. To get the hard drive out, you can see we've got a ribbon cable that goes over the top of it. But you just lift that out of the way. And then this ribbon cable is actually supplies the power and everything to the hard drive. So again, just lift the tab, that comes out. And then the hard drive itself just comes straight out. You see it's a one terabyte Western Digital hard drive in this. 2014, so 10 years now. Put that to one side and then we want to take the battery out. Now there's a few screws to do this. So let's get those undone. Before I forget, this is the DVD drive that just slides out. We'll just put that to one side because that gives us better access around here to our battery. Just take this out, just so that's out of the way. Rest the screen so that it's not bouncing. Then we can work to take our battery out. Now the battery is actually stuck down, so we have to take it out very carefully so that we do not damage the cells because you do not want one of these exploding or anything like that. So I'm just going to use the pry tool get underneath it actually it's not it's not on that uh, stuck on that much there we go it's lifting nicely it's slid out let's just remove the connector this connector just slides out There we go. And there's our old battery. What we can do is we can compare it to our new battery to make sure the connector's the same and the rating's the same. So model AC14A8L, AC14A8L. So we're good and the connector looks the same. So we can remove our original. We can then look to slot our new one in. Like that. Let's just route our power cable around and then we can slot this in. So our battery reconnected. And just screw that back in. And the next thing we're going to do is the hard drive. It's not entirely necessary, but I'm going to take the old foam padding off. I'm going to put that on the new one because it will help make sure that it fits properly. Here's our new drive. Turn it 
take our old connector off. I think I'll prize it because you do not want to damage this or the ribbon cable. It's not quite tight actually, but it does just slide off as it's a standard fitting. There's our connector back in. Let's slot our memory card slot back in. Just line it up because there's a screw hole there and a little notch that it sits on. That's that in place. can put our DVD drive back in. So our connectors are still on. We can bring our keyboard in and fit that on once I've cleaned the fan out. I mentioned when I plug the new battery in you see the orange light is flashing away here. Uh, oh, also I shouldn't have put the DVD in before I put this back in but yes so the orange light is flashing and I think I'm gonna have to press the reset which is on the bottom of the laptop so that it resets itself and accepts the new battery so it doesn't expect its battery to be disconnected but we'll do that once we have everything connected back up again So let's bring the keyboard in. Now again, these connectors should just slide in. They don't need much force, so do not force them. It's all just about lining it up. And fit the connectors in. It is fiddly, but just take your time with it. And once it goes in, clip both clips in. You probably can't see quite what I'm doing here. You might be able to on this one. Slide the connector in, push the clip on, and you should see it's clamped the connector. And then the final one here. They're all in. And there we go. Okay, so before I fasten it all back up, I'm going to push the reset and just check that it powers on okay. So what we'll do is carefully turn it upside down. And you see here, where is it? Here we have the reset hole. I'm going to press that which should reset the battery. Press that in. Heard it click. We still have a flashing orange light. 
So I'm not sure if that's intended or not. But what I'm going to do is plug the charger in. Let's do a test turn on. Okay, we got boot, no bootable. That's because it's a replacement SSD we need to reinstall. So let's just go into setup and check that everything looks okay. Uh, I think it's delete on this one. Let's try delete, it's either delete or F2. I can never remember. Looks like it's F2. There we go, we've gone into setup. Hard drive, we can see our Kingston hard drive, which is great news. And also we can see our DVD drive as well, still recognized. So that's great news. That looks like we've solved our issue. We just need to reinstall the operating system and get things up and running once again. The orange light didn't stop flashing. What I had to do was hold the pin on the back for 30 seconds, unplug, then plug it back in. And now you can see it's gone solid orange, which means it's charging, which is what we want. That should have done the reset. So I'm going to put the keyboard back on and put it back together. And there we go. That's replacement hard drive and battery on the Acer Aspire V9 Tro laptop. Hope this has been useful to you. Pop a like and subscribe to the channel for more of this. I'll see you next time.